everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today, I would like to share with you um, my four top uh, favorite mini bags of the moment, which includes my new bag, a little something that I got from Tory Burch, as you can see. Um, there's a sale going on, so I just got this like yesterday, literally, and I really, really uh, like this bag. When I tried it on, I really, really loved it, so I thought, why not? It's a re reasonable price and definitely worth it with the sale going on. So I only have uh, another two, I think, Tory Burch bags, and I think they're pretty well made. You know, at their price point, it's really, you know, a good bag to have and I thought I really like this design and so for today I'd like to share with you my four favorite mini bags which you've, the rest you've, prob you've probably seen before if you've um, been on my channel so number two um this is not it by ranking or anything by the way so another favorite bag of mine is my all my baby you know in the verni uh, monogram verni this is in uh, magenta which I really like it's a deep purplish maroonish color and then my um, SDJ from Saint Laurent which is the older style which I prefer uh, with the um, more structured uh, looking which is uh, not as slouchy as I think the new design the newer versions of the SDJ so yes let's get into them and also lastly it is this is really a chic mini bag it is the Chanel mini flap square a black lambskin with gold hardware which I've had for a very very long time but the gold is still so so shiny i really really like this bag so okay so so you know talking to my friends and even from my own experience you know having been you know liking bags for so long i do think like going for mini bags is you know what a lot of people prefer right now because just because it's uh, apart from the aesthetics of looking cute of course you know it is also um much less uh, burdensome on your body you know on your spine especially so okay my antigona i love it but it is so heavy it is really really heavy i know it's good for work when i need to throw in a lot of stuff but you know if i'm being conscientious i can use small bags for work as well because usually there's a separate bag that you would carry for your laptop because i don't think a lot of us put the laptops in our handbags or notebooks so anyway um yeah, so today I also want to show you how to pack, how I pack my mini bags to make sure that uh, my daily essentials are taken care of and I hope you find that helpful. So I will start with the newest bag that I got, this Tory Burch bag. I do not know the name of the bag, but there's a zipper pocket and there's another pocket here. There's even an outer pocket here, I think taking a leaf from Chanel flaps. Uh, most of them do have back outer pockets, which makes things very, very convenient. But <laughs> a relatively spacious mini bag that may sound kind of weird but yes for a mini bag uh, the three that i've shown you are pretty spacious apart from the mini flap from chanel so i have my uh, compact wallet from cartier uh, i've had this for a very long time i don't think you can find it anymore it has a little lapis lazuli stone right here as you can see and this is actually bigger than the wee wallet and it is bigger than the louis vuitton zippy coin purse it is also bigger than the chanel boy coin purse slightly definitely smaller than this anyway so here I go with the compact wallet inside and then um, card holder from Chanel. So I usually use my card holder honestly and my clay to substitute for a wallet uh, because the card holder I can put in like eight cards, you know, the important cards like IDs and even some business cards for uh, just in case. And clay I can use as a coin purse. And then I would use a uh, slim compact and say a lip gloss. And there's still space for a uh, face mist. So if I do this, I will not have space for a um, mini pochette. Mini pochette is actually my makeup bag. So here we go. It's pretty filled up. I don't want to squeeze it too much, but this is already uh, my daily essentials. I have the money, uh, makeup, um, compact to touch up, a lip gloss, and even a face mist, you know, to feel refreshed throughout the day. So, and a phone, and definitely there's a space for phone, but I'm actually filming with my XS right now, and I'll probably put a phone behind here. So yes, this is a very practical little bag that can definitely pack a punch. So this is how it looks on the shoulder. And uh, this goes crossbody as well. Okay, so for my other bags, you know, these two bags definitely would have no problem containing everything that I mentioned just now. But you can definitely even add the uh, mini pochette. So I actually have a um, other videos on my Oma Baby and on the Saint Laurent. In fact, in fact, I have a comparison video for these two bags. 
which I will link down below and if you're interested please take a look but these two bags are really really um, not only very pretty but they're also very uh, practical this has a shoulder strap as well so you can see on the crook of your arm and you, sometimes you can just have it handheld I think it's really really cute same thing for the Alma BB it has a shoulder strap but you know you can also have it on the crook of your arm it's very ladylike I think and to be honest, my, I'm really missing my Alma PM. It's still with Louis Vuitton because I had to have the handles replaced. And okay, maybe I'll go into uh, my Chanel Square Mini there because I have not shown this for, uh, I think, very often. But the two, the other two I've shown recently. So let's say um, you want to pack the Chanel Mini card holder, <coughs> clay, um, uh, lip gloss, and say the face mist. And definitely you'll be able to add in a slim compact you really have to uh, pack everything like uh, strategically as you can see here and so it closes there you go this is the Chanel mini so uh, <clears throat> yeah I hope you find the bags I love at least four mini bags that I've shown and this the three uh, Chanel is obviously the most luxurious looking one with the um, it is also lined in leather and the gold is actually still so shiny because the older Chanel bags were actually uh, made with plated with 24 karat gold and this mini flap is made in France I hope you can see it it's the double C here I've had this for like at least 20 years uh, my parents bought it for me um, so yeah, I managed to keep it all this while and I think it has held up pretty well. I have a lot of uh, older Prada bags that are like almost disintegrating to be honest, sad to say. But yeah, so this is uh, what I'm sharing today and my latest addition to my little uh, bag collection which you know I really really like surprisingly you know so maybe I should share a little bit. Uh, yesterday I went to uh, Louis Vuitton at the Gardens Mall. Um, I just wanted to drop by and chit chat with my uh, favorite essay Rasif at Louis Vuitton. So now Louis Vuitton is currently being uh, under renovation. The store is under renovation at Garden. So they have a pop-up store which is really really cute. Uh, I tried out a few bags but uh, I wasn't too sure. But surprisingly when I went to Tory Burch with my friend who arrived later, uh, when I just tried this on, I really, really liked it. So I always think that you know you should go with you know something that um, makes you feel happy. The moment you try it on, you just will know. So you don't have to um, you know get something just because of the label or because everybody else is getting it like i don't even know the name of this pack but i really really like it and that's what matters and i think it's really pretty really cute and of course it was on 50 percent off so you know the um financial analyst in me of course you know jumped at that and i thought it was really really cute so i got it and yeah i just wanted to share that little blurb with you today i hope you know yeah, in today's video useful another thing um sorry i always have the question sometimes of people asking me if water can fit into these bags uh personally i do not carry bottles of water in my handbags because um number one it's not a habit of mine number two i think it would uh that i run the risk of ruining stuff inside my bag so or the bag itself you know so even though it's just water, uh, so usually leather does not take kindly to water if you know it's it, and leather is not supposed to be soaked in water anyway. So yeah, so uh, I usually don't do that. But if you really want to squeeze a small bottle of water, maybe you cannot really use a mini bag for your daily use. You need to use at least a medium to large bag. But I can definitely go out with a medium ba uh, mini bag from morning to night. Like, no, no, no problem. So yeah, um, this video useful and. Oh, by the way, I'm wearing this dress. Uh, this dress is actually I bought from LaRosa.com. Uh, I will leave the link down below. I just got it. I'm just trying it on. I'm not sure if I really like it. I'm not sure where I'm going to wear this to. But yeah, uh, I guess I'll see how it goes. It's not very expensive. So uh, I'll leave the link down below and do check it out if you're interested. Because some of you do have questions on my dresses. So yeah, I uh, hope you have a wonderful day today. And... Um, See you in my next video very very soon. Do give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you like my content. Bye!